Good morning. This is a video about absolutely nothing and everything at the same time. I feel fat. And it's really kind of funny because a co-worker this week told me that I look emaciated. Me. Emaciated. Um, I don't think other people see me the way I see myself. Because I really... I don't, I don't, I, I know a lot of you understand what I'm saying, but, um, I mean, I've lost down to, I lost down to my lowest was in the 120s, about 128 or something. And then, now this is from 297 as my highest weight I ever saw on the scale, but I know that it was higher than that. Um, but, so I lost that much weight, lost down to that, and then, I gained back and I maintained around 135 for um, quite a while and then probably in the last couple of months I've eaten a little more carbs than I probably should and um, yeah, I'm drinking coffee like it's going out of style and I put half and half in it and of course there's calories there but um, so I'm, I'm averaging for this last couple of months, I've averaged right around 139, 141, somewhere in there. And for the most part, I never step on the scale anymore because um, I'm just not obsessed with it anymore. As long as my clothes still feel the same, then, you know. But then, I mean, I see these videos where people are wearing size 4 and size 8. And, um, you know, maybe they're taller than me, maybe they're not. But their weight is sometimes 20 pounds higher than me. But they wear these smaller sizes, and I'm like, what is up with that? You know, why am I still wearing anywhere from a 10 to a 14? It depends on, you know, obviously what it is. But, I mean, I put on a pair of jeans yesterday that were size 14, and, you know, I had to squat and, you know, ratchet myself into them, and I felt like there's no way I should be a size 14. And it's all this loose stuff that's left over that I guess I'm just going to be stuck with. Um until I figure out a way to get plastic surgery, but you know, really tiny up top, and um, and then this stuff around the middle. So I just don't. I feel fat, you know. I mean, when I look at those sizes, and I, as far as how I physically feel, I feel good, but I just feel like, you know, I feel like I'm fat. And then for somebody to tell me that I look emaciated just cracks me up. Um, I mean, I do have all this you know, bony looking stuff going on, and I don't know what to do to fix that, I don't know if uh, there's a whole lot I can do to fix that, you know, I don't think exercise would do it, and um, I don't know, um, I know a mastopexy would help bring some of this stuff from down here to up here, and would give me, you know, more full look up there, but I just don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. So, I told her I warned you it was about nothing. It's all about me. I um, hope everybody else is doing great. I'm trying to catch up and watch videos as much as I can. I'm starting my second job hopefully tomorrow. Um, I've been approved, but they're switching me to a different work group. So, that final transfer has to happen tomorrow after somebody else returns that's been gone away or something. Um, and then I won't have a whole lot of time. I'll be working my full-time job from 6.30 in the morning until 3. And then my part-time job from 5 until 9. But the 5 until 9 will at least be at home. That's six days a week. But, um, you know, it's going to take me away from the computer a little bit. But I'll catch up on my videos when I can. And I watch you guys even when I don't uh, comment or even when I'm not making videos. I'm still watching everybody. So it just sometimes takes me a while to get caught up. But. I do enjoy seeing everybody, and um, drop me a line if anybody has any questions. I'm still very much around, just fat.